Hi all, <coughs> and welcome to another video. Um, so today we're going to keep on with the Perry War of the Roses theme uh, for now. And we're going to be looking at um, the Mercenaries European Infantry Box. It's a 1450 Um Go to the box first of all, obviously again, nice box. It shows you what you can get for different options. Uh, and it gives you a nice painted picture on top, which gives you <coughs> an idea of livery and an idea of paint idea and what you can get for it. Obviously, the box makes 40 figures. That's the front. On the back of the box, it shows you some liveries um, for your different European areas from France, Italy, um, Burgundy, and obviously Switzerland. That for things. I'm looking at either doing the Holy Roman Empire, the Green White one, because I quite like the idea it's different and it makes them stand out a wee bit more. Or I quite like the idea of the uh, Switzerland URL one, the black and yellow one, because again, I think it will give it a little bit of standout from the average colours of the um, Yorkist army. On the side here, obviously, it also gives you ideas what you can do to build it and what's in the box. So, have a look at that now. You start off with three main sprues and then two small sprues with extras and obviously command on them. So, look at the main sprues you start off with. <clears throat> One idea that's when looking at this box, first of all, is the fact that the, the actual bodies you get on the main sprue are exactly the same as the ones you get. Um, in the infantry box, War Rose infantry box. So the bodies themselves aren't any different, and nor the helmets on this sprue. We'll go over the other sprue later on. So, what do you got on the sprue? Well, you get 12 bodies uh, and enough heads to cover. What I, this is where the difference comes in you get pikemen, so you get enough for the pikes in here and the hands. Again, making sure you look at the, when you're building these, you need to make sure you look at. What the shoulders on the shoulder, whether it be chainmail, cloth, or, or armor. I'll bring it up a wee bit closer. Or armor. So that you make sure you get the right one. You also get mini little shields, like that one there, and these here, um, for your pikemen, because they can hold hold shields in, in for the artillery. It looks quite nice, actually, and gives them a bit more of a, <coughs> a different design from the, the sort of the War well, the Roses infantry. Obviously, you get crossbowmen in there and handgunners. Now I like that of the handguns because what you get with them is you get a mix of loading, so pouring powder there, ramming the shot, um, and firing over here. And it's the same with the, the crossbows, you get uh, a couple of getting ready to fire, that one there ready to load, you get one to collapse down so not even open, uh, you get one shooting uh, or for firing, and one there which is on there ratcheting up. Now that one there I quite like, and it actually, I'll show what it comes out like on this, we'll go over this in a minute. It uh, comes out like that. So the idea is just sort of jacking up, getting it ready, which I like. Um, and then you'll see you also get uh, one there that's not even open, hung up. So obviously you get different mechanisms you can put her in, and it gives them you can give them a bit more, a bit of variety, a bit of difference um, to make your, your sort of little six men units quite unique. So they're not all exactly the same, which I like the idea behind that. Obviously, I'm building these for, as I said before, for never mind um, the bill hook. So they have six men in uh, mercenaries are in six men units, skirmish units. So we can look at them as I build the army up. Um, it's slowly getting there. I've got, oh, sorry, wait a minute. I've got um, one whole set of glue. Um, I've got a unit of light, light, light cavalry. I've got a unit of men at arms so far. Uh, a unit of bill hooks and a unit of archers. Um, in the main army, there'll be another unit of bill hooks and another unit of archers. And then that's the command over there, which is the Yorkish commands, which I'm familiar with sorting out. Once I've built them up, I'll start painting them. I'll then build up key on to the mercenaries. <coughs> Sorry, I digress a wee bit. Back to mercenaries. So you've also obviously got packs here um, for holding the quivers. Um, so you can see it's quite nice that you can play with what you give them and how you set up. But it's making sure if you've got one, the two, especially the two that are loading, like this one here and this one here, that you don't really want to give them this one because that's the sort of side on them because obviously these have the loaders all attached to them. So you'd be looking at giving them these kind of quiver holders here. So it's just being aware of what you're giving them, what you're putting on just to make them look uh, and go together. But obviously... It's always personal preference what you like, what you don't like. I like some of these sort of arms, metal arms here. I quite like using them. If you look at the infantry box um, instructions, 
they actually give you some ideas of how you can make them a bit more European, what you can add to them. And it's the same with this one. We'll go back and make sure you different hats and helmets you can use. So it's just making sure that the helmets you're using match. Um, if they don't, they don't. Some of mine I've got. I've got one side, but it was obviously a mix. And that sort of time between European and uh, <coughs> the UK was sort of they were well, same sort of helmets. But I say these are exactly the same men as you get on on the infantry shirt. So it gives you a chance to play around and sort of go for a quite unique one. I'm, I'm looking at one of my ideas is going to be is with this body here, which is sort of the studded leather um, with a bit of uh, armor plating on it. I quite like the idea, so that one there. I like the idea of using that and actually having all my crossmen in that. So it'll be a case of going, well, do you know, actually, I've got, you know, oh, I've got enough here, but I can make two units of them if I take out the guys, my spare bodies from this one. So it gives you time to play a wee bit and have a bit of fun with them uh, and, and mix and match how you want the units to look, especially if you want quite concentric units who match and well together or you can just obviously completely mix up so it's also your choice so that's the bit main screw there so you get in there i think you get um four yeah four hand gunners you get four crosswomen uh and you get one, two, three four six pike uh on there so you've got enough that actually you can make you want with spare bodies you can kind of make quite a few mercenaries if you mix them with the infantry boxes well you can have a nice mix going on there into the smaller sprue. <clears throat> the smaller sprue obviously is your command sprue. Um, it's got a host of different things on it actually, which I really like. So we'll start off with the commanders. Again, I think it's pretty much the same as the other ones. They're the same sort of mould um, in there, so it gives you time to play with them. The commander also over here. The one thing I like about this is mercenaries rather than having a trumpet or um, as as, as the, well, the roses guys have. They have a drum, which is quite nice. Um, something different, and it obviously singles out what you're doing. So you can really mix up what you're doing. Obviously, small swords like normal. Um, loads of different heads. This is what I do like about it is, obviously, for the European armies, they have different helmets, so you can really play with the helmets you've got from sergeants with flags on their heads, which is quite bizarre. I didn't realise that was how it was. I need to look a bit more into this. Uh, and to feathers, so I need to see what sort of army had what, so I can mix it all up. And again, more different helmet styles down here obviously you've got a mace a couple of swords um and i do like where was it was it, on? it was that's it the little the little sword here looks like a little little dagger i quite like the idea of having a little dagger sort of stashed uh, and, and one of the leaders using that pervases you get six in total you get three smooth with the sort of dagger at the end and then you get three ridged I'm not sure what yeah, I'm going to use in mine. I quite like the idea of the smooth ones because it gives me a chance to use some transfers and to do some nice sort of patterns on it, to, especially to know where they come from, especially if I'm looking at like Germany or Switzerland. But then I also quite like the ridges because it gives you a chance just to mix a wee bit of colour um, to make the sort of play with it. So we'll have a look. We'll see what's out there. And I'll go do a bit of research, in, especially into Switzerland, and see what they what sort of pervasives they used and what colours they used. Uh, other than that, they get six help help it is um tops now the idea of these is you cut the pike uh down and you glue this on top i'm not sure how that's going to work out yet or how strong it's going to actually hold um but the idea is most is is you should cut it just above there and glue it on i'm a bit dubious about it i will try it um i'll, I'll let you guys when it goes when i do a bit about building um the men up when I do the last units, I'll probably do a unit of these and I'll let you know how they come out and I'll give it a go because I'm not sure if that small is going to hold very well or straight, to be honest. But we'll give it a go and we'll see what happens. So that's the small, um, that's a small sprue. Also, the box book, you also get uh, bases. Now, obviously, I use the penny slot bases um, mainly because it means I can use it for multiple different games from Pike and Shot. They're by the bill hook, um, Warhammer Historical. You can use them for loads, means you can take them out. And it just gives you more of an option to play. In my opinion, you can literally do what you want. I still will use these greens because they'll be good for scatter train and they're also good for objective markers and even kill markers. So my plan will be um, to, on these, especially these long ones, make them unified, but have stands on there so I can put disorientated or put some other markers on there so we know what if the unit's running or what, it's easy marks that unit. But we'll have a play. We'll see what happens with them. You also get, obviously, the booklet, which I've referred to twice, a few times, but 
it gives you a wee bit of background about some of the European trees from Burgundy, the Swiss Confederation, France, the Italian states, and also the Holy Roman Empire. It's only a small paragraph about them, but it gives you a nice bit to read up about them and give you an idea uh, of a little bit about what they did and even how big they were. I mean, you know, I didn't realize that in eight, it, the one that got me was actually in France. Um, it, 46 and 6,000 Swiss army made the main army of Louis the 11th army, which is quite funny because the fact that it's France, but using, he was using Switzerland to make his army up. Inside, this is what I really like about this one. Actually, you get an awful lot of flags in this in this one to use. Obviously, you get them from different countries. You've got, you obviously got Burgundies, Italy, and the Holy Roman Empire. I do like some of the flags. I think they're very colourful, great designs. You get France over there, the Low Countries, and then Switzerland up here. So some nice ones there, nice designs, and give you an idea of colour and what you want to play with. On the back, as you've already seen, it gives you some ideas, again, for colours for the vases. And it'll give you a few build ideas. And it's a little bit more information about what they were wearing. Um, again, make sure you get matching pairs. Just ideas how to bring it together um, and what you're doing. Okay, that's it for now. So my next, hopefully, I'll be, I'll be doing the... I've got a box of light cavalry. Um, also I'm, I'm using met ones in my army. I, I'll review them as well. But I've also got, when I review the plastics, I'll review them as well. So we'll go through them and we'll have a talk about them. Once I've gone through all the boxes... What we will do is we'll go through building and how the army's how my army's building up and what we're going to be doing to the army as we go. Um, I've got a few painting projects on the go first, but once they're done, which hopefully will be end of next month, we'll, we'll look at starting a unit of these guys. We'll start with the, the foot, general foot soldiers and we'll choose leaders and we'll go through who I'm using and what colours I'm using. So hopefully I'll catch up with you guys again next week when we do one about the Lament Tree. Have a happy all gaming for now. Stay positive and hopefully during this lockdown time, you're getting time to um, do some hobbying and, we'll, and tabletop painting and getting ready for when we can hopefully open doors again and we can all go and meet up and play games again. So anyway, happy wargaming and uh, keep in touch.